Okay, there we go. Everything should be working. Can you guys hear me? I know I just started, so need to double check something. I completely spaced it. Make sure that's that. Desktop audio is fine. I think we're good. I don't think it's, it's, I'll have to wait for people to join because I started a little early. If you're listening to this after the fact, I apologize, but let's, let's, let's do this. I mean, we have to wait a couple of minutes, but uh, welcome back to Games Revealed. I'm James and the Brink, and we are one community. Today, we're going to be talking about traveling with the Steam Deck, traveling period, and kind of what accessories there are for it, what I have accessories wise, what accessories we could potentially get. Don't mind me as I drink a little bit. As um, there's a, there's a, there's a lot to traveling with the Steam Deck, uh, and also there's not, and that's the beauty of it. Um, I have a lot to say about this, but I really think um, the simplicity is in just using the, using the Steam Deck on a plane, not dealing with anything else, just playing it. Um, some of the pluses and minuses that were on my trip, um, let's just, it's going to take a second for people to, to trickle on in. Let me just make sure people know this is a little, little bit of a start for everyone to get in. Bam. gonna wait for people to trickle on in and uh, yeah ah nerdified welcome 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 not as convenient as a Nintendo switch um that's a hard one obviously it's not gonna beat the portability of the Nintendo switch but with the way that I pack a Nintendo switch around and how I pack the Steam deck it's not much different in um size like my switch case is about as big as my steam deck with the kill switch casing on it and we're going to talk about that once we get going a little bit further nerdified is that um the way that i took this is a new setup yeah it is i'm gonna have floating shelves over here with some of my stuff and then um for now i have a temporary thing right here but this is my I, I got this for Christmas for my kids and, and wife, Susie. It's a Cthulhu doll. I loved it. If you know me, I love Cthulhu. So I, yeah, it's going to, he's probably going to end up somewhere up there. Um, the other place that I was recording at is going to be a podcast studio for now. Once I actually start recording again. And so, bare minimum, Games Revealed podcasts will happen down there. Maybe some history podcasts with Susie. And some. maybe I'll do some um, standing desk-oriented recordings down there. But I finally have my uh, desk back upstairs where kind of, yeah. The lighting, I'm going to have to get used to it. Uh, my Elgato lights that I had on both sides are just not working right now for some reason. They're, they're garbage, honestly, Wi-Fi wise. Um, so I'm using another lighting source and it just seems to cast more shadows than I would like. So, um, Wolf, thank you. Thank you. And welcome Wolf, by the way. How are you doing, Wolf? Nerdified, how are you doing? Uh, Nerdified, do you own any of the small retro handhelds? I do not at the moment. I do want to get some, but I have been funneling all my funds into preparing for traveling this year, catching up on some debts, uh, or just payments for stuff, um, for game development, as I have been working pretty heavily on my game. And I should have, I don't want to make any promises, but within the next month, I should probably have a pretty good, like, pre pre prototype demo to show off. Um, with a corridor filling up with water and everything like that with the ship I'm making. I have everything organized again. I have, and things are going good. I'm, once I've 
I feel like I have a good stride in my game development. You're going to be seeing more videos. I don't mean to promise not deliver, but games revealed, game dev revealed, my personal channel in here. Um, which I said games revealed already. So, um, Wolf. Wolf is all right. And she's thanking me and asking, how am I doing? I am doing good. I've moved up here. Still dealing with some allergy stuff and all that um, on and off, which makes me a little bit still unpredictable with videos as it's much easier for me to just work on game development stuff when I'm feeling like this, where if I'm not feeling 100%, I don't want to make a video, I'll be honest. But um, yeah, no, been doing pretty good. Rachy, welcome, welcome, welcome. Not convenient as a 3DS, you mean, <laughs> Rachy? That, that's true. That's true. I will, okay, honesty time. I'm very specific about my gaming. I like old retro games a lot. I will play them sometimes. Like, I have my my five or six, probably series that I will play back to back, like, over and over again. Resident Evils, I will go back and play some of those. The Dead Spaces, since Dead Space 1 remake came out, I haven't gone back and played Dead Space 2 and 3 again, but I probably will gear up for that. I know Susie's playing through Dead Space 2. She really likes it. My game I'm making is uh, heavily influenced by Dead Space and also uh, some other games that I can get into some other time. Um, and How do I sound, by the way? Do I sound okay? I have a different mic set up. Because I have my podcast mics downstairs. This is another mic that's Rode that I had. Um, but yeah, welcome, Rachie. So we're going to be... Okay. Um, once again, because I've been inconsistent, I don't blame people not showing up all the time. Uh, that's on me. Um, I missed streaming two weeks ago without really doing a good announcement as I just was all over the place. So people will trickle in. Let's get into this. Um, I want to know... Uh, real quick though everyone that is watching what do you like what do you use traveling the most um device any device device can be included like as phone laptop gaming device all that i find depending on how long the trip is let's say if i had to fly for a two-day trip um, I might be tempted just to take a phone and watch some cached videos as I like watching videos. That's easy. Um, on my last trip, I used my phone, my steam deck and a little bit of my laptop, but my laptop is a little too big for the plane and I'll show you what my laptop is. So I'm going to cover like everything I did and, and, and give my like opinion on all of it. I do want to do like a, uh, a top 10 travel tip steam deck video. I mean, I want to do a lot of different videos. That's my thing is I, I get planning and then don't do it. Um, but, but yeah, do I sound okay? I just want to make sure I'm sounding okay. Okay. So getting into the travel, the main thing I used while traveling, at least, and, and I consider this in the plane and in the hotel room. I didn't end up with a whole lot of time in the hotel room as I was either um, going to... Um, a certain compound that I work for. Um, oh, I work for a company that works for, that contracts with this company. And it was pretty interesting. This is Atlanta, Georgia. And I found that I didn't have a lot of time in the hotel room. So I played it as what I could, but it made it really easy to play whenever I needed to. Meaning if I had an hour downtime, I was either I was on my phone trying to gather some information as I was really into researching Apple and people can hate me all day and all night, but uh, I've gotten really tired of not being able to use my Apple watch with my, with my Android. And so I, I caved and then um, I, I got an, uh, an Apple phone. Thank you, Wolf. Um, that I have. Yeah, but we'll get, we'll get it. We can get into that. Even though I, I travel with Android this time. So, the OLED, the new Steam Deck OLED is what I traveled with. And I will be honest, I've traveled. And another reason I'm doing this this stream is I want to hear what your guys' opinions are on all this. And I'm going to read off your comments soon, Rachie. But I found that with the original Steam Deck, it was fine. 
with this one beefed up, and I'll tell you what I did to beef it up and my recommendations for beefing up for this type of thing, and there's only really one thing, is that battery life's perfect. I didn't think I wanted more battery life. I thought it was just fine with the way it was, which it it was it would have been fine, honestly. I think I would have survived with my flight. My flight, my longest flight was like five hours, if that. So I could have, while well, sitting on that plane, you know, sitting on the plane to take off to, to back. Um, I really liked the battery life. I didn't feel like I was sweating it. Um, with the original, I feel, I feel like if it was getting close to 30% less battery, I just wouldn't play it. I don't know what it is. I don't want it to turn off, lose save, or anything else like saves, that is, my save um, game. Various different reasons give me anxiety to use it. So having a little extra battery life has been a game changer for me. And I, in the past, I have always been like, I don't care. And in a lot of ways, um, I do like power over battery. At least I thought. At least, okay, when I'm at home, I have my main PC, so I'm good there. But with my um, Steam Deck, the OLED is just, it's it's. If you're traveling, really want that little extra battery life, it is definitely worth it over the original, in my opinion. Um, I found that, yeah, I got about 20, 30%, maybe 40%, depending on what the game was, more battery than the original. And with the OLED screen, made it a little easier when things got bright. Some people opened up the windows, and that was damn bright outside. Uh, on the window, so it made it a lot easier to view and, and play. Um, the games I played were uh, Hades. I played. I'd have to look at my <laughs> deck again, but I, I played games like Hades. I did play a more serious game that was. Uh, um, I, I thought I was going to play more Persona Five. I just haven't been able to get into it. I have Cold of the Lamb that I've been playing too. That's what I started playing towards the end, and then I. Um, I played Dark Dead Space. I played that for like two hours on the airplane. It ate up probably 50% of my battery. I found, and hopefully this isn't boring you guys, but I found this this topic to be an interesting topic. I found that I didn't need my battery pack, which, give me one second. Now, you would have thought I would have taken my Tom Talk case. I almost did as my personal item, but I wanted to pack light. Uh, light enough, meaning I didn't want to carry on. I wanted ba uh, backpacks. So I have this battery pack right here, this battery um, this battery bank, that is. It's a 2,000 milliamp. It's not the biggest for the size. You can get a little bit bigger nowadays for this size of battery bank. 65 watts is what I recommend for the Steam Deck and Asus um, RJ Ally. And this is one that's, I think it's still on the accessories of recommended stuff that's on a lot of my videos and everything that you can go check it out. I like it. And guess what? Look at that. I charged that before my trip. Guess how much I had left? A hundred. I did not use this at all. Um, I found that the Steam Deck was good enough without it. And airplanes have a uh, slot, like, uh, spots to plug in oftentimes now whether it be a, a little bit more powerful usb which i haven't tried those i don't know if they would work with the deck um but some of them even have ac especially if you're flying international or a, like um, long flights uh will have ac outlets so um battery banks really aren't the most important thing um and in fact i don't know if i'll i I'm just not sure if I'll carry it in the future as almost everywhere has ports and everything to, um, let's just do. Okay, let's get to some comments real quick. Uh, Rachi, now I travel with a tablet with a gamepad. I remote play with my my PC from five to 10 megabytes speed. Does it work pretty good for, with that? Cause um, I have visible, which is by Verizon that just upgraded its visible plus plan, which I have to 10 megabits on streaming for, um, for hotspot connections. And then Rachie, I always bring my battery bank. My phone is four years old. Yeah. So here's the here's the here's the thing. And I might get some flack for this, especially Mudahar just Mudahar just moved over to Android from his iPhone. And I've probably had Android much longer than I've had iPhone. 
but every time I use the iPhone, it just works for me. And so, um, my iPhone bro or my Susie's, my wife's iPhone broke. Her kids dropped it enough last year that I gave her mine. And then I bought a cheap pixel seven, like a really like an open box cheap. I got it for like $300, um, as a replacement until I could get a more permanent phone. And I have the, and I'll get to your uh, comments in a second. I, and I have the uh, iPhone 15 uh, Pro Max or whatever. I'm, I'm paying a, 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 a monthly thing for it. I'll have it paid off, though, in a month or two. Um, but I started it. Um, so I have to say the battery life on this thing. So the Pixel 7 started out having battery life for probably almost the whole day, almost, depending on how much usage. I've been using this thing all day. And just like my last iPhone, I had the iPhone 11 Pro Max, I think is what it was. The battery lasts all day. Um, even towards the end last year, I had that thing for three years, maybe more. And it was, it's almost an all-day battery, even at this point. In the beginning, it was an all-day, easily with 20% at the end of the day. This thing, I end up with 30% at the end of the day, which is even better. So I have to just say, um, it works it's battery life is amazing and but both android and ios just depends on what android device you get too you'll have better battery life pixels aren't are not very famous for having the best battery life um ness uh some battery i have works great same battery uh this one right here yeah i like this a lot um <coughs> food booter am i late what's up everyone welcome welcome food booter you are not late. I'm just talking about the travels that I'm having or and have had what I plan on taking to my next thing uh, and also like what I've kind of used and accessories and stuff. And maybe we'll do some shopping if we have time um, for additional stuff. I'm not going to buy anything today, but I'm going to put on a wish list in a couple of a weeks when I get paid again to maybe get. Uh, Rachie, 5 megabits is great for 720 and 10 megabits is for 20, uh, 1080. The image is great. Yeah, I plan on picking up um, this is gonna make me sound like an Apple fanboy. I plan on picking up an, a used. Uh, so the new iPad Pros are gonna come out in the next few weeks. I plan on picking one up in a few weeks. Uh, a used one. Try to find a used, really good deal of a uh, iPad Pro. Um, partially because I want it for the sketching. Um, I have a notebook right here, and I've used Surfaces in the past, but I find that they're too laggy. Um, they're probably better nowadays with this drawing. And I, I, I do a lot of sketching for games and levels and stuff like that, um, for prototypes and stuff. And I've been doing a lot of sketching and prototyping that, um, I honestly want a digital. I don't want, I don't like packing this around. And so I'd rather pack around a tablet, um, as <laughs> on the plane, I'll be honest. I played Hades with the, with the sound off and I watched a movie. Well, I played Hades with my headphones on. I had Raycons, um, which I don't know where they're at right now. I, I, I have, I, I got it with this, the Air, AirPods. I really like AirPod Pros. I had a pair. Kids destroyed it. Um, this time I'm doing Apple, uh, the Apple's uh, care on it. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, I know it sounds like I'm becoming an Apple fanboy again, but I just, honestly, the synergy is just so much better than anything else. I still have a, at my main PC. I'm going to be gaming on my main PC, don't, so don't worry. Um, and I'll get into some ch into chat again. Uh, but the Raycons, solid, honest. I know they don't sound as good as AirPod Pros, and these are the second gen. The third gen will probably be coming out this year sometime. Um these are really interesting and really fun, but if you're just going to be playing, let's say, a Steam Deck, and you're on the go, or you don't care about the sound quality as much, because the bass on this definitely destroys the, the um, Raycons that I had, the everyday Raycons um, that I bought about a year and a half ago, which I still have, and I will keep as reserves, or might even just use them for my Steam Deck. Honestly, they might just pair with my Steam Deck, as I, I wish the, the bass was a little bit better for the gaming, because bass is really nice for gaming. Um, the AirPods just automatically switch. So iPhone, I, uh, work with a MacBook for work, work all right here. And you'll see a little bit of smudges and this thing, this thing is what's, uh, 
got me this and a couple of things they changed they were forced to go to USB C's got me back on the Mac and uh, this thing all day battery I can go two days working with it like eight hour days with it depending on what I'm doing so uh, I I've never had anything last so long with batteries and I'm really obsessed with battery life now um, Rachi, my five-year-old LG Velvet battery lasts for about six hours of heavy torture. That's not bad. That's not bad, Rachi. iPad is great. I use a 12-year-old iPad 4 for manga reading and anime. Nice. I have an iPad 5, I think, like the fifth gen iPad, and it's for the kids. They've broken the screen, and I've replaced the screen three times now. Um, <laughs> I just... It's 20 bucks. And so I'm like, okay, cool. Here you go. And I don't think they're going to break it this time, but we'll see. Um, and they keep on chugging on through it. The thing I like about iPad and Apple with kids, another reason I'm kind of going mold more Apple again, is that it's really easy to control their ecosystem, meaning I don't want them to go down any weird, dark rabbit holes. And so I can control what apps they get on it. I can control a lot of the, and time. Like they can't be playing it in the middle of the night. Uh, maybe as they get into the teens, I don't care as much. Um, they have to regulate themselves at one point, but you know, when you're three and seven, no, nah, no go. So that is, this is not, a, this is about traveling. Nerdified, you have a mini PC. I do not. I will, here, let me, let me take a picture of my PC and I'll show you guys. I know this is going to be the most get a way to do it okay it's a little dusty but this is my pc it's an nzxt um con it's the creator version i got it back with like two three years ago when video cards were nearly impossible to get i was going to build a 3080 um, I wanted to build a 3080. I ended up with a 3090 because that's what they had. It was the same price. The 3080 and 3090 were the same price back then, which is just crazy. Um, and with this computer, I mined Ethereum and paid it off when it was really lucrative to mine Ethereum on this type of stuff. So that was, I, I got really lucky. Really good PC. Love it. It's going to probably be there for another year or two before I have to upgrade it. Um, and I'm, I'm usually upgrading every other year. Uh, but because this one was so beefy that I bought, I just haven't had to upgrade it. Um, yeah, so it's not a mini PC. If anything, uh, I'm going to be probably getting a MacBook, a personal MacBook that's similar to this one, uh, um, for, uh, on the go. And you can do game development on Macs now with Unreal. Uh, it supports Macs. Uh, on the go, I'll be using that. And then, uh, at home, I'll be using this as my main PC because I also will play games on it too. Um, and I don't want to pay the, the, the Apple tax on super expensive PCs. Um, Foom Booter, I just repaired my laptop the other day, bought the wrong screen at first, same model, number, different reversion number. There you go, revision number. That's that's pretty awesome. Yeah, no, repairing's the way to go if you don't need to buy a new system. Um, Nerdified, I have an uh, iPad Pro with the Magic Keyboard, and I love it. I, I could only have the iPad with the keyboard. Really? I'm thinking about not getting the keyboard in the beginning because I mainly want it for consuming um, content, giving it to my kid to play with like on the plane and for me to draw stuff on. Like I want to do a lot of my sketches on there. Um, as much as I, I like the pen and paper feel, um, I don't like the organization. Like I always forget this thing and I'm going to be working out of the house at a co-working space soon because I want to get out and meet people. Um, I've been pent up too long and I want to be more portable. So an iPad pro is the way to go. Um, and I have a, I've been doing a lot more sketching too. Um, doing game designs and stuff like that. Like I've, uh, uh I'm going to, I'm going to put it down now. If you don't see something from me that the end of this year, uh, game wise, uh, be shocked, be shocked that I don't have at least a tech demo partially ready for everyone to see. Um, Right, Chie, we should go back to the digitizer separated from the from the display. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I don't know enough about that, Ray Chi. Like, I know what you're talking about. Um, 
that's what I have. My digitizer is separated from the screen. I thought the digitizer was separated from the screen on the on, I, on the iPhones, but on the iPads, are they not separated anymore? Like you can't just replace the glass piece, the screen. You have to replace the screen too, because that is, yeah, that's no fun. I could see why they would want to keep it together. Um, Uh, Ness, I just got some new AirPod Pros too today. My old ones finally broke after a few years. Yeah, same. I I, I really like them. Ray, like honestly, it's this or if you want to go on a budget version, Raycons. And I'll be honest, the Raycons stick in my ear better. Uh, Raycons, everyday use, like they, it's what it is. Like they they'll stick it better in your ear as they're more flush. They're not as noticeable. They sound great talking with people. Um, everything. In fact, I think. Uh, mike wise when I talk to Susie, my wife, the Raycons are have a slightly better mic, or at least at times a better mic than the AirPod Pros. Um, but noise canceling, uh, audio spatial stuff, all that like is really cool with these. And it, how I can go from my iPhone, iPad, I don't have an iPad yet, or like one that I used to have an iPad, but when I would go from my iPhone to my iPad to my MacBook at the time, because I've been on and off working on MacBooks for most of my career. And it's just, I'm, I'm kind of done with screwing around with things. I want to screw around with this, like Steam Decks and other things. I don't want my main workflow to be screwed with. We'll, we'll get back into some more of the stuff of traveling. So, um, <clears throat> Foom Booter, I live my, uh, I love my iPad Pro. I bought a Doku keyboard case for it. I got scammed well. What? You got scammed? Is it a doku? Doku? Dog, doggo? I don't know. Uh, Fubuter, they pulled the backup battery out of, at the last possible second before finalizing the design. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, a backup battery would be awesome in a case. Yeah, that's one of the things. Um, But the iPads last pretty long. The iPad Pros last pretty long, don't they? Um, Nerdified, I know the Magic Keyboard is expensive, but totally worth it. Yeah, Nerdified, I was thinking about getting an iPad Pro. I used one, like an uh, uh, iPad Pro M2 um, version. I think the M3s are going to be coming out in a couple in a couple of weeks to a, a couple of months. Um, and then, so I'm expecting to get like an open, like a good deal on an open box or used one. And get, I have a pen already. Funny enough, I have a pen because it's all, it was pretty much half off. And uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, Rachi, the Apple tax isn't so real. The value they provide in laptop isn't far from the similarity. Simil similarly priced Windows counterparts is better. Right? Okay. So, <laughs> I, I like it. I, I like it. I like it. And I, I will be getting back to the travel stuff because I have a lot to talk about with all that. I just love chatting with you guys. And you can easily get me uh, sidetracked. The Apple tax is real and i don't think people understand taxes go to things so <laughs> i think this is an appropriate way to explain this um as much as people don't like taxes taxes do go to things um health can be one if you're in a, a country which most third uh, first world countries all first world countries i believe except for united states and i potentially one other ones doesn't have a good like they all have universal kind of a universal health care or a public plan so a lot of stuff like that. I don't mean to be getting into politics or that shouldn't even be politicized, but it is. That comes from taxes, right? But it goes to a beneficial thing. You don't have to worry about bills. It has a lot of benefits to it. It also has some negatives. You know, you don't get to choose that it's taken out. You're, but at the same time, whatever. Don't need to go into all that. Apple tax kind of goes into better build quality, better uh, support oftentimes. Um, and just certain things that are nice now the android windows route you usually get things sooner which is nice I, I do like getting shiny things sooner but with apple i just know like i i went back to an iphone i, I just had to um it just works like i was getting like it just and the android operating system can't handle notifications quite right it doesn't handle a couple of things uh well enough for me and I, as much as I like the Pixel, I like the Samsung line more, but I, I feel like Samsung always, is, everything is half-assed with Samsung. Uh, Bixby, if you remember Bixby, I have had multiple Samsung Notes and all that, and I just, oh, they're bad. 
Okay, let's get back into some more uh, stuff. So I, the Apple tax probably happens more with like the Apple Studio, the Apple Pro, those big towers and stuff like that. Like the Apple Pro starts at $7,000, which is ridiculous. At the same time, if I needed it for work, I don't see it as a big as a big deal. Seven seven thousand dollars for uh, equipment I need to make hundreds of thousands of dollars is not a big deal for me. Um, I, and I know that sounds weird, and I'm not making hundreds of thousands of dollars uh, in the sense of like from my you know if I had a studio or something like that. Let's say my game development studio needed something like that, and I was making three hundred thousand a year. That's not a big deal. It would last for three four years. Um, it comes down to just what you need it for. I don't need something like that. And it is a heavy tax for something that well, probably most people don't need. Uh, the Mac Pro Studio starts at 2000 I think, and it's more reasonable. But the sweet spot is the MacBook Pro 16-inch, uh, which is awesome. Okay. Um, uh, it really is an amazing laptop, and it will gain... I, I'm hoping that... Um, I know that Apple started their new game kit... API last year. It's not, it's not what it's called, I don't think. But they started a new um, translation layer system for supporting games. It uses Wine, and I think they're also using part of um, what Valve uses with the Steam Deck. I could be wrong about that, but that's what the rumor was, at least that they're working on something like that. So game support could be becoming that's better and partially could be thankful, thankful for the Steam Deck. So I think Steam Deck and Apple kind of have both a like if they could work together, which they're not going to, uh, Valve and all that, um, the Mac would be able to play a lot more. But that, this is not meant to be me fanboying about Mac and Apple. Okay, let's see. Uh, Ryan, hi. Would you suggest taking the same 65-watt power bank with the LCD Steam Deck on a 20-hour flight that I have coming up soon? Really don't want to carry it. Hope to just rely on outlets whenever possible. Um, here's how I'd recommend doing that, Ryan. One, if you have the regular LCD, the regular, it all depends on what game you play. So if you want, let's say you want that 20 hours of gameplay, you're this is how you, the only way you're going to be able to get 20 hours of gameplay out of your system with this. This will charge your, your LCD probably one and a half times, maybe two if you're lucky. Um, I wouldn't bet on that. I'd bet between one and two. <clears throat> Excuse me. Depends on the pad, the battery life, how long you've had it, everything um, you're going to want to play on the Steam Deck something like Hades something that's uh, and maybe even enable ha um, half shading half shader or whatever it is um, where it doesn't need to render as many colors or complexities in it like sh uh, Hades doesn't necessarily need that um, like lo lower poly games don't need and you can if you tweak those sw those settings well enough like with Hades if I probably could get five to six hours out of that thing on my Steam Deck. Let's say, though, hypothetically, you play a game like Hades most of the time. You get five hours out of that um, per charge. Let's say four and a half to five. Let's just be, let's be super optimistic. Five hours out of that on your Steam Deck. Then uh, once you get lower to uh, like 20%, plug your battery in, continue playing. It will probably charge it all the way through once and be depleted while you're playing it. And it will probably take probably maybe an hour or two, whatever. You would be between doing all this, you'll probably get 12 hours of gameplay. Then um, what you want to do is, you know, have it charge and then unplug it once it's fully depleted when you get it. Like if it's 20 hours and you have if it's there's a layover, charge it at the next layover. Uh, your battery bank and your deck at the same time. If you just you're gonna have to balance this all out, and you might be able to make it 15, 16 hours. I don't wouldn't. I, it's just I don't think it's possible to get the tw full twenty hours, depending on what your layover is like. Nerdified, starting to become an Apple YouTube channel. I'm not gonna be an Apple YouTube channel. I'm just gonna I'm gonna call it how it is, and that's how I always do it. And I'm everyone's wrong, or has wrong and has preferences. And my preferences right now are. Um, I'm kind of done screwing around with my daily driver stuff. This, my lot, like even Windows 11 is not bad, but I actually prefer Mac OS now, which is ridiculous. I never thought I'd be there. Um, 
Oh, thanks, Wolf, for throwing that in there. And then, you know, the MacBooks. Like, honestly, I, I'm, I am toying around with Unreal Engine development, game development on the MacBook. I, I mean, I, I got it on there. It works fine. I just don't know how it's going to be with my game towards the end of the year. I'm not going to bet on it. But I've never been – the Android has emulation. It has um, offloading stuff. I don't do any of that stuff. Um, I know Mudahar came out with a newer video recently where he's like, he, he got more power, he got more options. I don't use those things anymore. I kind of used to use them back when um, stuff I wanted wasn't on the operating system, so I had to download um, and sideload things. And Nowadays, I'll play Plants vs. Zombies on this thing. I'll play, uh, what else, Hearthstone on this thing. And then the rest of it's just watching videos, scrolling Twitter, doom scrolling Twitter or Reddit. Um, and that's it if I'm on my – or podcasts. I listen to a lot of podcasts and watch a lot of YouTube videos, um, a lot of video podcasts too. Uh, a new one that has Jake Baldino in it, uh, which is a FPS podcast, the Friends Per Second. Friends Per – I think it is second um, podcast. They went and tried out the new um, Judas game, which sounds freaking awesome. So it's a roguelike. It's essentially they're the ones that make um, Bioshock. So Bioshock Infinite, and then they've been quiet for ten years, and they finally became public with their new project, Judas. It's like a lot of the art style and a lot of things kind of feel like Bioshock. And then it's a roguelike, and it's on a spaceship. And everything I hear about it more and more, it sounds freaking amazing. So I think Judas coming out later this year is going to be a, it's going to be a banger. Um, and listening to that podcast was pretty cool. Okay, I should call this Distractables, but that's already freaking a, you know, that's what's his face's podcast. Um, because I get distracted. So, um, where was I? Uh. Yeah, so uh, Ryan, just to kind of finalize on all that, uh, bring a book, have your phone, have something um, you don't – and this is the one thing I think people get caught up on that a lot of people think they're going to be – like let's say – let's say if, I don't think there's a flight that's actually 20 hours, but you're going to be flying for 20 hours. Um, there's no – I don't know of anyone. I, I didn't. The Steam Deck, I played this for probably two-thirds of the flights, so – each flight I was on, I probably played it for two hours or for three hours because I had four hour, four and a half hour flight or at least plane because, you know, when you um, get off the plane, uh, it totals up to about five hours. My flight time was probably around four. Um, and I just didn't, I didn't realize Utah to Atlanta, Georgia was so much further than I realized. Um, I only played this for probably two to three hours on the plane. The other time I spent sleeping because I would only it was only getting four hours of sleep that week um a night and and or was watching something just to yeah just to chill out a little bit I did play a lot though and I was really surprised like playing something familiar like dead space seemed to be the sweet spot for me um okay so but yeah Ryan I'd find something else to do bring a book your phone uh like with like cache some movies you can ca like if you have Netflix if you so all the services pretty much offer caching now um, cache some movies uh, cache some books or manga whatever that you do that would be always have a secondary plan always when you're traveling especially for that long Ryan have a secondary plan you just don't know what's gonna happen what if you accidentally drop your Steam Deck uh, it's just it sucks but have a phone a game on your phone or two. Um, maybe if you have emulation, get some emulated, emulated games on your phone. That's my recommendation. Treat this as your secondary device or your main device and just, you're, you're good. These two things will get you through about any amount of travel you need in a, in a weeks. Um, Ness, honestly, I haven't tried Raycons. I work outside. How good are with water resistance? Um, I, I, I sweat a lot when I work out. So, and I work out, I've been working out more and more to catch up on my health again. Um, I was running about 30, 40 minutes a day for the past few weeks. 
um, sweating pretty good and it would get on the, in the earbuds and nothing ever happened from it. They are water resistant. Same with AirPods. Um, I wouldn't, the nice thing about them is that, uh, between these two, I, I feel like the Raycons are actually a little bit more water resistant than the AirPods. And if they do die, they're like $60 to replace. Not these I got for a really good deal. I got them a much better deal than what they are. Uh, they're, I can't stomach. I'm not even going to say the AirPods prices. They're, they're so expensive. I can't, I can barely stomach it. Everything I get. So when I buy tech, I either get open boxed on Amazon or Best Buy. And the things with the thing with going that route is that you, you run a, a larger chance of having the device not work as well or whatever it is, but you can always return it and swap it out. So if you don't, if you can't deal with that aspect of it, then don't do it. But You'd be surprised, like between discounts, I don't, this wasn't open box, but this was. When I bought my Apple Watch, got it for like a hundred and something dollars off. It was also a sell for them, I, and then I got an open box. It was like half off at the end of the day, um, which much, much more palatable price, right? And these will last a couple of years, especially if you put Apple Care on them. Okay, so Raycons. I did a whole audio thing a year and a half ago on the channel. There's a video that I have. Uh, Raycons were the winner. I know a lot of people, like some people were excited about that. Some people did not like that because they're audiophiles. If you're an audiophile, you're not going to like the Raycons. Uh, but you're going to have to go with very uh, unique and specific earphones. Like you could go with um, over the head, but if you're working outside, that's not going to work. Like the these, okay. Truth time is, I didn't I didn't use my AirPods. I didn't have my AirPods um, on my trip. I had Raycons and I had these. And this is the older version. This is the Sony. I bought these years ago. Um, oh come on, what are you, what are you called again? The MX. They're like MX three thousands or something like two thousands. I have to look it up, but um, they're the, yeah they're these right here. They work great. Noise canceling is great. Uh, perfect for an airplane where it's really loud noises, uh, whines and all that. Um, I use those probably two thirds of the time. And then I use my Raycons the other third or like at the hotel, I just use the Raycons. Um, let's see. Rachie, the best hardware I bring to travel is sleeping mask with earplugs. Uh, see, I I use this and I should use an ear, uh, uh, you know, um, a mask or a pillow or something. I, I, I can, if I get exhausted enough, I'll just sleep, uh, just laying back. I either like lean again. I, what I usually do is I bring a jacket in case it gets too cold, use it as a pillow on my side front, or just, I'll cover my head sometimes and I'll black it out that much, that way. It looks weird, but you know what? I don't, I'm never going to see those mother effers next to me ever again, most likely on the airplane. So I don't care if I look a little weird. I, 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 I try to pack minimal, oh, I overpack. So let's not say I'm minimalistic packer, but I pack multi-purpose stuff. Okay. Um, oh, from it was a Kickstarter project that you backed. Okay. It sucks that they did, tr like they promised something that and you didn't get it. Rachie, I, Hey, the biggest reason I use Android is for emulation and games. I'm sure the Apple is better in other aspects. Um, yeah, Rachie, a hundred percent like Rachie, like anyone that wants, if emulation's a big deal for you, uh, there's, there's a lot of games on the iPhone. So, and a lot of streaming, uh, pretty much anything you can do with an Android beyond emulation, you can do with an iPhone for the most part with a few exceptions, of course. Um, I'm not as big into emulation these days in the sense of, and you've, you've probably noticed that on my, a lot of my videos, like I do emulation. I have stuff on my deck. Um, and I enjoy it, it's not my go-to. Like, I'd much rather play a new game, like an indie game or whatever else. If I have to play an old game, I have some of the old uh, consoles that I can play it on. Or, like I mentioned, Dead Space, a bunch of those all those other games which were originally on the PC. I've been a big PC gamer since I was uh, 12, probably 10, I don't know. And so, um, I've always had access to some kind of PC or not, and I have all my old media from that, so I can always just plug it into whatever and play it. Um, so that's why emulation, I guess, isn't big for me. 
um, biggest things that I played console wise was like Final Fantasy VII, uh, Legend of Dragoon for PlayStation, um, the Metal Gears, Mario sixty four, and there's probably one or two other games. Super Mario, uh, or let's see, uh, Super Mario World two or three or whatever it is. Um, beyond that, I did play. You know, I played console stuff, but a lot of stuff I played was on PC. And a big part of console stuff I played was because of friends. They just didn't have PCs that could power it. So, uh, yeah. And I worked at GameStop at one point, which really pff, sunk my budget. Uh, the best... Let's see. I'm really behind. Um, I'm just getting through these comments. Uh, Fubuter thinks Wolf. I'm curious. I'm actually in the market for a new pow uh, battery bank. I, I am too. Technically, um, this is an older one, and I I still recommend it. Like if you want to, uh, if you see this thing, this is just an attachment for my other Steam Deck. I can pop it onto the back and use it and have more battery. I found with the new OLEDs, I don't need it, honestly. Um, uh, but I do want to get a new battery bank or a couple to test out for a video again, but we'll see. That might come a little bit later. Because um, <clears throat> there are some newer ones that have come out in the past year that are just better than this one. Um, but this is, but I, okay, I'll say better asterisk. It doesn't have as much time played on it as something like this, where this is like, I guarantee this was, this is a good one, a good solid one. It's not going to get you the most power, but it's solid and it offers clean energy, which is important. Um, clean energy, energy as in it is, doesn't free, um, it's, it's outputs like it's supposed to, doesn't fluctuate or anything like that. Um, Ness, that's what I feel about Apple and Steam Deck versus Android and ROG Ally ones are just easier to use. Guess I'm just getting old. Ness, a hundred percent. I'm hundred percent with, with you on that. The ROG Ally is right here. Mine is right here. Um, I really like it for, if it's a game. Starfield. Let's say if I want to play Starfield, I had to play Starfield on the go and I'm flying somewhere. Perfect for that. But the thing is, I can wait to play that at home oftentimes. In fact, I'm I'm, I'm edging more and more to just the Steam Deck as being the ultimate device because um, I don't... If there's a niche game that doesn't play on this or if it's a very powerful game that I can wait to play on my main PC. I don't need to play it on the go. I don't need to play it out there. Now, if I was traveling a lot... And I only ended up with probably available of 10 hours per month with my, my main PC. I'd probably get a gaming laptop, honestly, if I was traveling a lot, but I had a lot of time on the go. Uh, but the ROG Ally is a nice second for something like that. Like if you're doing Starfield, it's just you're going to need a battery bank. And for travel, the ROG Ally is garbage um, as it just does not have good power. Uh, battery life. Um, the... <laughs> Rachie, the 90s kid traveling with Game Gear. Oh, ho, ho. I have a Game Gear, or I did. I wonder if my parents still have it. I, I really liked it. It only worked. Uh, Sega has this big problem where um, I have two Sega, uh, Sega, um, I have a Sega Game Gear, and then I have two Segas. Uh, it, the screen eventually it would just start showing only half that like I got something broken with the video card output. Same thing with the game gear. Um, I loved it. Eight through batteries like crazy, but I loved it. Uh, Rachi, any e-reader users here? I'll be honest. I don't read enough on the go. I listen to pod, uh, audio books, podcasts. I have audible. I do have some, uh, business books. I want to start getting and reading them on the go, or even maybe some manga series, but, I don't know if I don't think I'm going to get an e-reader, but they've always been attractive because they're better for your eyesight. They're um, don't require as much light. The battery can be forever, uh, depending on which one you get. Um, I just phone or tablet is how I'm going to go for a while because I don't read enough to justify an e-reader and another device to take with me. I figure between an iPhone and iPad on the go and maybe a, uh, a laptop is and my Steam Deck is probably way over. 
<laughs> over uh, the limit of how many devices I should be bringing. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Uh, Wolf, I use the Raycons too for working out and the battery is so good. Yeah, the Raycons are really good. Raycons are really, I really like Raycons. Honestly, if they uh, ever came to me for a sponsorship, I'd totally take it up. I might, once, one of these days, once I actually get back, like my numbers back up for the YouTube channel, I might reach out to them because I like them that much. I, I'd actually reach out to them for a sponsorship because I'm already promoting them. <laughs> and they stay in your ears really well. Yes, they do. They, they stay when working out, especially, I feel like they're, they're better than the AirPods. Um, Games Revealed Earbuds video. I know. Yeah, right. I've already kind of done that, Wolf. I kind of did an all around. I went and bought like three or four different headphones or ear, earbuds. I bought um, AirPods and everything. Like, uh, the only thing is the Google Buds would be interesting to try. I just don't want to spend the. Whole, that's why I don't do as many hardware videos. They cost a lot of money. And I'd rather inject that money into my game, which I do require, like, um, I'm in the middle of getting a flux fluid pack that are a uh, tool for much better managing of fluids like water in my game because I'm going to be having corridors flood and all, uh, a bunch of other stuff in the game. I'd rather spend it on that or other things I need to spend on. Um, that's why you haven't seen as many hardware videos. Um, if I was really serious, I'd be putting all my money into that and then eventually getting it just given to me to review but uh, I'll try I'll try my best cast coder welcome 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 uh Ness uh, Rachie I use an e-reader great for travel when I use the warm light feature I get sleepy quiet and can sleep on the plane oh that's nice to know Ness um old uh, model <laughs> See, Fubuter, I used to have a Game Gear with the TV tuner as a kid. It was awesome. I don't know if I knew about the TV tuner. I don't know if I ever had the TV tuner. Uh, that's pretty cool, actually. Uh, Ness, I am a Game Boy kid. Remember the accessories for that one? The Game Boy accessories. Okay, let's do field trip time. We'll get back into... Um, let's see if we can get a, a decked out Game Gear. Yeah. Has, there's no way. Oh, it's a container. Okay, I was like, what is this? Is that Magic the Gathering? That is actually kind of a sick Magic the Gathering uh, container right there. For a second, I was like, what? Is that a Game Boy? That's cool. I like that. Okay. Um, Game Boy accessories. Let's see here. Uh. Cause they, yeah, like something like this, ridiculous. The power pack, right? And this is for the DS, I believe. No, it's for the Game Boy. Wow. Um, yeah, yeah the, the the accessory game for the Game Boy was ridiculous, but it was awesome. Printers, cameras. Uh, I think some of the, I think those were all for the original Game Boy, right? At one point, they had everything they were awesome um once again though i did here we go this is what i was thinking of mad cats you've got the controller sides with looks like batteries speakers to just to prove that blasting in your face uh w weird buttons that look like nipples on this one <laughs> they look like nipples i apologize but they do um uh, and You got, uh, yeah, you got the magnifier, which I think it did help, but it's, it's like a weird thing where like you're going to see the pixels more, but if you have bad eyesight or if you really want to feel like you have a bigger screen, there you go. But it was just making it so that the pixels were bigger too. Um, okay, let's get back into a little bit more of this traveling talk and then we can look at accessories. Um, Fumbooter noise. Uh, yeah, had a red uh, OG Game Boy before that. Batteries lasted so long in that thing. Ooh, compared to the Game Gear, anything lasts longer than the Game Gear. Um, insert uh, <laughs> lasting in bed joke right there because the Game Gear did not last long. It was premature. Uh, Gabriel, my Steam Deck is old. What do is, is decide new handheld my uh, Stream Deck? Steam Deck 64 gigabyte. Um, 
are you deciding on a new handheld or are you going to hold off the 64 gigabyte you need an sd card if you're going with the 64 64 obviously um so i have some videos recommending sd cards Th those are not changed they're going to work there's not going to be any new sd card unless it's um size wise like it has more memory on it that's going to be what i have like i just I, I haven't made a lot of new videos because a lot of the videos i have still hold up um gabriel i'm not quite sure what you're asking though my steam deck is old what what new what do i decide new handheld my steam deck 64 i just want to know what your question is or if it's just a statement that's fine um I'd hold on to that because I bet you the Steam Deck 2 is going to be announced by the end of the year or into the next year. Um, I think from a year, like minimum within the next year and f month or two, give or take, I think we'll have an announcement for something Steam Deck 2 wise. Um, that's my, I, I think we'll end up with the new Steam Deck in 2025 um, or 26. So, Wolf, uh, bring a link to your old video. Thank you, Wolf. You are awesome. And I don't, I, I need to mention that more, but you're just, you're doing, you're doing uh, games revealed work. Uh, Ness, I had the magnifying screen with black lights, with backlights. Yeah, the back, oh, that's right. The backlights were very important. So the Game Boy Color, I believe, had backlighting, right? But the Game Boy original one which was black and white did not have any backlighting so if you were in the dark and which is, is so weird to say about a screen these days you would just never imagine that like i've just never thought about a screen not being able to be visible in the dark you think it'd be better to see it in the dark uh tvs for the longest time were like that uh whatever it is like it's just not like a very common thing even back then to like <laughs> have a screen not be visible in the dark so you had to have backlighting which is pretty funny um foon booter thanks wolf i tried to click it but my phone won't let me link out for some reason i see it on amazon now though 40 dollars for 30 yep 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 she was probably giving you a link that was uh affiliate for mine so anything anything amazon linked a couple other links just expect it to be affiliated it helps pay for stuff and me to get new stuff, but um, like new stuff to test and do hardware reviews. But obviously, a lot of stuff's been going to just mostly game development and uh, other places. Um, <clears throat> Foom Booter, yeah, I think you're right. I actually ordered a Steam Deck, though. I'm still waiting on it in the mail. The Steam Deck. You ordered one for the Steam Deck. Okay. Um, Oh, the worm light for the okay, Foon Booter, the Magnifier 2, good stuff. And then the worm light for the GB, the Game Boy Color was amazing. The Game Boy Color worm light was f awesome. Uh, <laughs> um, now I wanted Game Boy Color Lenovo themed shell. This way I'll have a nipple button. Oh my God. Okay, <laughs> new. Uh, okay, uh, Foon Booter. Yeah, I think I will. I know I kept saying I was going to get one, and then my brother got one. I messed around with it a bit, and actually seems pretty damn cool, so I went in it. There you go. Wolf, thanks for point, uh, for the video, for the SD card video. It's in the chat. So happy the 20, uh, 2230 name format is cheaper now. Yes, 2230 has become standardized, which is good. I, I think we still want to see a 2280, but I think at this point we can expect a lot of innovations into the 2230 form factor for NVMEs, which is upgrading. That's another thing, my deck. So to kind of get, to circle this back around, uh, Ness, that's why I haven't bought the OLED. It's still happy with the OG Steam, Steam, uh, Steam Deck. Yes, if you're happy with it, and I've mentioned this multiple times, you do not need to upgrade. For me, I do a lot of videos on the Steam Deck. I do a lot of other things. I bought a new Steam Deck about a year ago because my other one died from modifying it so much. Um, I am super happy with this Steam Deck. Um, and I have, and I'll be honest, modifying it too much sometimes can wear out certain components. It's not the most durable thing to, to tear apart and put together a bunch. And I did that. Be a little cautious with that. Full shell replacements can cause some issues. Um, but 
I'm not going to change. This is the limited edition, too, as the orange. I had to do it. Valve's like a god to me at times. Um, this thing, though, I did open it up, and I put a 2 terabyte SSD. Uh, the, the SSD NVMe drive into it. A 2 terabyte is perfect. I have... Uh, let's let me just show you what I have. I have seventy games installed on this thing. Oh. Hold up, there we go. And so you can see, I have an Elden Ring on there, Final Fantasy VII, Fallout, Hades, Half Life. Uh, it's just a bunch of different games that it's either for me, maybe I'll want to give to my kid. My kid likes to play Goat Simulator, uh, Mass Effect Collection, a bunch of the Mass Effects, a lot of games that are on my backlog. Uh, the problem is that even on the flight, I was like, which one do I want to play? And so I had, I had to like decide and kind of done. See how many games you can stick on a two terabyte? It's, it's crazy. Uh, it's crazy. And I, I guess I need to beat a lot of those. I don't I, I find myself like beating some and then deleting them off and downloading new ones i have not i don't think so i think this thing still has an sd card slot uh it's, it's an sd card slot version this never had an sd card slot or a sd card inserted into it which is super dirty but is what it is it is a version when it comes to sd cards i it's the weirdest fact about my steam deck i'm so i'm so sorry but yes this has not had anything like that inserted into it. Okay, let's, before I make any more bad jokes, let's continue on. Um, uh, Game Boy didn't have a backlight until the advanced SP, unless you count the Game Boy Light in Japan. Uh, yeah, I was counting the one in, in Japan. No, I wasn't. I, I, I get all my Game Boy stuff mixed up. I didn't, like I said, I didn't, my friends had, Game Boys, I didn't have a Game Boy, Game Boy Color. I had a Game Boy Advanced <clears throat> um, that needed the worm light. So, yeah, once you reminded me about the worm light, I was like, oh, that's right. I, yeah, yeah. Uh, you, yeah, the Game Boy Color doesn't have a backlight, which is honestly really annoying. Uh, Fubu 2, yes, Wolf. It's a one terabyte OLED. It's secondhand, but the listing had a bunch of goodies and extras. Ooh, Fubu 2, that's awesome. Yeah, I really like the OLED. But once again, if you have the original, it's going to work fine. Uh, unless you're traveling. But I don't know what it is. I just... I'm not trying to make anyone jealous, but I actually really... I didn't think it was going to be worth the upgrade, even though I was, like, all excited getting it, whatever, you know, a couple months ago. Um, but I had... Uh, I've actually beat more games on this OLED than I have on my other one, which is crazy. I don't know what it is. It just runs that much longer for some reason. It makes it so my anxiety is not as high with it. Cast code are not going to lie. I feel the Orange Pi Neo fulfills a lot of what I want out of a handheld gaming PC. Uh, yeah, that's right. I, I, I actually did a video on this uh cast coder i never released it i honestly i have like six videos i have not released in the past year <coughs> i should release them to members so that you guys can enjoy like oh he didn't release this why didn't he release this oh wait oh my gosh <laughs> this gotta be let's see yeah, I actually covered it. Look at that. Um. Uh, yeah. I so I did release it. So I do have a, a video on that. Wow. I thought I didn't release that. Okay. Cool. Wow. High tech low life covered it like a day ago. So it must be something new on it. Um, it looks interesting. Um. Orange Pie Neo, but why? Is it because it has... Does it have Steam Deck? Uh, oh, it's Manjaro. That's right. That's right. So, Cask... Um, oh, I I'm not sharing my screen. Give me a second. I'm sharing my screen now. So, this is the Orange Pi Neo. It is a 7840U handheld gaming console, which is great. Um, it has Manjaro on it that is flavored or at least maybe launches into Steam, uh, the Steam client, big screen or big picture mode or whatever mode that is called again, um, you'll see it right here. 
Um, I am curious about it. It looks slick enough. It's got the track pads on the sides. It looks like it, it would be ready to run Steam OS. Um, spry, oh, okay, price and specs came out. Okay. 32 gigs is awesome. What's the price? Let's see. We'll start at $4.99 US. Interesting for this. Oh. Interesting. Okay, that's pretty cool. Five ninety nine forty nine. That's a pretty good deal. That's a really good price. That being said, I will be honest with my opinion. I think the Steam Deck looks more comfortable. I'll have to try one out though sometime. Once again, though, my budget is not there for it. Okay. Um, yeah, Wolf, you're right. It does look like the MSI clone and uh, the Steam Deck had a baby. Maybe I'll have to, um, I'll look into it. Maybe I'll make another video on it because I do. Yeah, I need to make some more videos. Um, uh, Fumbooter, I could have saved a lot by just getting a normal one, though. They have s such great prices. Yeah, that's true. But the OLEDs are nice. Um, yeah, Ness, I keep telling myself one day I'll get through my backlog of games. I'm forcing myself on the Steam Deck. That's why I've been getting games like Hades and all that. And Hades 2 is coming out, and I'm excited for it, and I shouldn't be because I have not beat Hades 1. I started back over. I used to, I was playing it on the, the Switch, and then I switched over to the Steam Deck and everything, and I've been having to replay it. And that takes a lot of work to get through that game. Because it's roguelike. Uh, Dungeon Crawler. Yeah, the, the uh, battery life sold it for you, Fubuter, the OLED, that is. Uh, Cascade or pop the cherry with that 1.5 terabyte micro SD card, maybe, but I honestly have been pretty content not dealing with the SD cards, <laughs> I'll be honest. Uh, Rachi, the Steam Deck is a strong, independent woman. You, sure, we can call it that. Um, Wolf, oh, Brink, did you know that 7 Days is verified on Steam Deck? I didn't know that. Wait, <gasps> that must be new. That must be newer, maybe in the past month or two, because it was not. It, it runs okay, but it, it, honestly, if they just shored up a couple of things, it'd run great on the deck. But if it's verified, maybe that's a good chance that it runs really good on the deck now. It's not like the most complicated game to run, per se. That'd be awesome. Well, if one of these days we need to do the biggest get together of Steam decks and like play Seven Days to Die with like 30 other people in the same room. It'd have to be at some con convention, though. What would okay, guys? What would be the most likely convention for enough Steam Deck people to play a huge game? Let's well, seven days or whatever. Does that, that you'd have to have a server for that, independent of of the Steam Deck? What would be the best convention to find a bunch of people at? I'm kind of curious on that one, chat. Um. J bro, welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, I have a question on on this new update. For some reason, when I go on desktop and check my battery health, it says ninety. When it says health, it says ninety. When it says ninety nine, okay, J bro. Just as a heads up, the desktop battery utility on the Steam Deck has never been amazing. Linux, I'll be honest. This is like a lot of people don't realize all the failings of. <laughs> of Linux when it comes to uh, laptops and portable devices, their utilities have never been really good at um, managing battery life, uh, predicting battery life, um, indicating how, where the battery life is. I'd probably trust the Steam, de like the Steam OS's like game mode version more than the desktop version. So if you're seeing something different between the game, ver like the game mode version and the the desktop version um just understand that's it happens i wouldn't be too worried about it unless your battery's draining fast if your battery's draining fast in game mode then you could have a faulty um, battery and if you're in the warranty zone then i would recommend doing uh our um an rma with valve and getting a new deck swapping it out or at least having them fix the battery 
Uh, cast cutter, two USB 4s is awesome. Don't get me wrong, I'm all about that. I honestly, after I played with, after playing with um, some of the, uh, and seeing a lot of these new devices come out, I have been be coming back around to Steam Deck. I'm kind of Steam Deck land again. Like I, it's getting to a point where it's decision fatigue. So I'm down for like my main game, like my my main driver for portable gaming is Steam Deck again. It just works, and I don't need to play every freaking game that's on the device. Like I have a main PC for that. Um, Immortal Thirty Three. Uh, Chalice, welcome, welcome, welcome. Hey, everyone. Yeah, price is not bad, but I think Lenovo will get my money this year. Yeah, Lenovo is... Get the Lenovo. Like, it's a big screen. It has... If it's got everything you like, then go for it. Um, man, it's been so long since I've covered Legion Go that I even f kind of forgot what it was. Um, and they have prices. I think they're going to be dropping it a bunch the next few weeks or months. And so keep an eye out for the pricing and everything. I like the Legion Go. But I know a lot of people are really like surprised by I just the Steam Deck's drastically better when it comes to portable gaming without any fuss. If I want to pick up a game and play it and put it down, it's it's, it's the best experience. Now, if you want to go extra, which a lot of us do, and, and there are years where I want to go extra, the Legion goes great. Like the detaching of the controllers the screen being bigger is a big plus. I really do like the screen on the Legion Go. But I didn't find that a lot of other parts of it were. like It was not comfortable for me compared to the Steam Deck. And I have to have, like, comfort is a big deal for portable gaming. Um, Midwest Gaming Classic is next week. Ooh, yeah, I'm not going to be able to make that. Honestly, I'll be honest... Uh, the, next, the next thing I probably end up going to is the Utah, um, it's like the Comic-Con, but it's called something else. I'll probably go into that in the fall, and then I'll probably be going to game uh, GDC, Game Developers Con Conference next year. It just happened like a week ago, but I plan on having my game in a good enough position to go there and at least talk to other people and know like and, and feel like a, a game developer. Um Gee, bro, okay, that's good. I fear that I had a, a faulty battery. Yeah, no, keep an eye on it. As long as it's feeling fine, it's it's, it's as it normally is, you should be good. Um, it's just Linux is weird like that. Sometimes restarting it can help. Um, even re reinstalling can help with that if it bothers you enough, but yeah. Oh, uh, what's the monitor you use? Um, the monitor I use for my Steam Deck? If I'm use if I'm on the go and I didn't bring it this time because guess what I didn't need it. Uh, in fact, I'm tempted to sell this. It's a 16, 16 inch portable monitor. It doesn't have a built in battery, which I I really wish I would have gone with a built in battery with one of these things. It needs a power source. So traveling wise, it's almost useless. I might mount it up there as a, a screen for playing different devices while I'm doing research, but I already have a screen right here, a screen right here. And my main screen is an Aria, um, an Aorus, uh, Aorus, it's an Asus Aorus, I think, or maybe it's a gigabyte or something like that. Uh, 4K, 32 inch screen. It's pretty awesome. Has HDR, but because I stream so much, HDR kind of messes up with streaming, so I have it disabled, which is unfortunate. Cast coder. You gonna join me at GDC? <laughs> you should come. To G I I need someone to go to GDC with me next year. I can't be by myself. I don't make I, I make friends better when I have a, someone there that I know. <laughs> uh, Wolf, you should come too, to GDC with us. Um, <laughs> I'm already getting a posse together for GDC. I will not be getting roofied. I don't think anyone wants to roofie this, so I'm not too concerned. But yes, thank you, Cast Cutter, for that. Um, posted screenshot in general of it being verified. Of what being verified? If I save up enough, I'll, if you can get yourself to San Francisco, I'll get you the GDC ticket. 
casket. Or how's that sound? If you can find your way to San Francisco in a year, I will get you the ticket. The ticket is going to cost between two and three hundred dollars for the base, and then the upgraded one is between seven hundred, around seven hundred dollars. The beautiful thing is, um, I do plan on making more money this year off of with Bunny Strike and everything, so there should be write offs. Meaning, there you go, cast cutter, find yourself there. Um, I'll write it off. <laughs> uh, stuff like that is an easy write off. It's it's learning, it's education. Conferences are writable. Um, meaning, uh, if I make a certain amount this year, uh, uh, depending on how much I make as my company, I, the write off will be very much worth it. Um, yeah. So if you do your taxes well and own a business, you there's perks to it. People don't realize, but it is expensive. Okay. That'd be awesome, Cass Um, we'll, we'll talk later about that. Um, yeah. Okay, let's... Uh, I didn't expect it to go quite this long. Um, I had more stuff. My, This is the backpack I took right here. It's um, Tom Talk. I love the Tom Talks. After using that Tom Talks... Uh, side sling case for my steam deck and just every like every day whatever if i go somewhere for the day i like shoving everything in there um but this just makes it easy put all my clothes in uh, let me uh, full screen real quick i i uh yeah so it's a backpack it's comfortable i throw everything in there it fits really well i i was gone for four days uh, fit everything honestly i'd feel comfortable taking this for uh, a week long and this thing people think they have to swap out their jeans every day you don't need to swap out your jeans every day honestly you just need two pairs of jeans for a week and you're good back up oftentimes you can get laundry done at certain hotels um that was a good bag i really like that bag uh the problem is it's a little awkward because for my personal i wanted a little bit more room to carry my laptop but if I didn't have my laptop, I'd be taking my other TomTalk case as a sling on the side. Um, it would be nice to have a, a hard case roller. I just didn't want to deal with that, especially because those tend to get checked on. That's another like little little hint for people. Um, roller, like the hard case roller bag, like uh, check um, uh, carry-ons will get checked on if planes are overbooked. And mine was both ways. Uh, so... But if you take something like a backpack or something just a little smaller, they don't like to check these on. And so you can, they'll usually find a way to get this on there. And they'll even take someone else's check. I, I've, I've seen it. I can't recommend every time that they're going to do. They'll even take someone's uh, roller casing and check it on. So uh, you're always going to, and the things I don't mind check on, but like if you really have deadlines between, let's say, um, you have to get to the airport and then get to meetings, which I had to do. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> it was nice to know that my luggage wasn't lost. This was just a simple backpack given to me by a company that is not doing as well nowadays. And it just was able to fit my MacBook, my Steam Deck in it. Um, the only annoying thing is it has this flap right here that's open. So I didn't, I didn't put anything that I trusted to fall out in there. Um, good night, Ness. Have a good one, man. Uh, we're going to be wrapping up here somewhat soon too. So don't worry guys. Uh, I, this is, this is my steam deck. This is my traveling steam deck. This. Okay. That was just like liquid. The kill switch case. The best thing that I have gotten for my deck probably has been this kill switch case and before you say oh it's it was given to me it was given to me but i also bought one uh, i bought one for Susie. so this my Susie, and i have one other one and then i gave one away to someone um it's been the best thing i really like these the kill switch case is awesome by far my favorite accessory for the steam deck uh it has the two terabyte drive in it but I can, this is, so we talked about, and too bad Ness is leaving. I think it was Ness that brought this up, that uh, the Switch, the Nintendo Switch is uh, more portable than the Steam Deck. I disagree slightly. Once I have the case and everything for the Switch, it's about the same size as this. So, and I'd rather have this. This is, 
more protective and it's got a stand built into it right there that you can also take off obviously and it makes it so it's more drop resistant and this is more comfortable than the nintendo switch by far it beats a nintendo switch so my ultimate like this is the ultimate travel uh recommendation lightweight for the steam deck is get a steam deck oled slap a two terabyte hard drive in it and get the kill switch and you are good to go honestly um battery banks are needed if you're going for very long trips and you don't want to use your phone but between a phone and a steam deck you're going to be able to survive most travels so um i i, I swear i had like one more thing to mention Oh, yeah. This is the last one. This is one that's been a big one for me. I don't like... Oh, my camera went off. Give me one second. Uh, give me one second. Yeah, my settings... My settings reset on my camera, so I need to go back through and make sure that they don't... Uh, the overheating thing doesn't go off and whatever. The cords that the Steam Deck come with garbage don't like it um it's just i don't like this it makes it so that it just i don't like it i want to be able to repurpose this cord i will take usually two usb c's to usb c's which is another nice thing about the new iphones that they're usb c now port um i will take two well this one's a usb a or three uh to usb c I just had this, this U Green, which they have sponsored me in the past, and I do like their stuff. Um, I just have this, two slots, and this port right here. I have um, a portable station that charges my uh, iPhone, uh, my AirPods, my watch, and if I plug it in, I think with this, it takes twenty, and then um, as long as you don't have a hook, this uh, your Steam Deck hooked into a hub. You plug it into the top port of this. Uh, you actually, oh no, this is 140 watt. Never mind, scratch that. I can plug my Steam Deck into this. I can plug my phone and everything charger into this, and potentially even plug in my MacBook. It'd be a slow trickle charge, but it can do almost everything that I would need it to do. It works for my because so the new MacBooks have a Mad Mad Mag Safe charger that they used to have back in the day, which is awesome. I can't believe they got rid of it, but the ability to be able to charge USB-C or through that with the MacBook was a big plus. This will do everything almost. You're going to get slower charging rates, but if it's overnight, everything's going to charge all the way through. So um, I only have to have one piece here and the cords can be reused for multiple things. I don't have to carry this right here, this one purpose device that doesn't do what I want it to do. Um, yeah. Even if, they would have provided a more modular adapter. I would have been fine with that. Okay, so I think that's it. We didn't need to go shopping. Maybe next week or something like that. If it's a slow week for news, we can go shopping. But this has been fun. I'm glad that people jumped in. Um, how are you guys feeling this evening before we get, uh, wrap this all up? Um, I do plan to be more um, objective-based for my streaming in the future with, with the Brink channel. Uh, I haven't done it because just I don't think people were as interested. They weren't showing up. Um, I get it. Watching someone else play video games can be kind of boring sometimes. Um, it was an easy way for me to get through my log. But just as a note, I think I'll be more purpose-based, meaning like if there's a game I'm going to be playing that I want to play while you guys watch, I will schedule it. Or if there's some like other thing, I'm going to try to – I'm going to get there. Bear with me as I'm transitioning into game development mode trying to get more videos out on the channel streaming will come back i really like streaming and chatting with you guys i love this type of stuff it's really fun wolf i i promise you i promise okay necrosphere for you i'll stay on a little longer um i promise you wolf i will get you hell divers too um within the next few weeks does that sound okay and then we can play i'll play whoever okay it, it, if I, whoever else in the Games Revealed sphere that plays Hell Divers 2, I will play Hell Divers 2 with you guys one weekend for a long time. Um, 
no we're gonna do it we're gonna uh we're gonna have a good play session with the games revealed peeps whoever wants to play i love that stuff but yes welcome necrosphere you are late but luckily you can watch uh, go through and watch it again um yeah i what is that <sighs> this i have so much stuff right here that's like that i'll 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 take this actually sometimes this if you have okay if you really don't want to do the iPad or the Steam Deck, because it's a one-purpose pony, um, not, if you're not worrying about the plane, but you, you're, let's say, if you're at a hotel for like six hours, um, you can stream from your PC over the internet a lot of different things, or you can even do cloud-based gaming with an iPad and this right here. So if you don't... And this will make it so that you can hook up the iPad to the TV at the hotel room and play like you are at home. Like, I, I don't, I, I, that's the next one I'm going to try out. So I'll be getting an iPad. I will be trying out like uh, without a Steam Deck, but the Steam Deck is just nice to pick up, put down, play. It's, it's just such an easy device that's just always there for portable games. So, um, sh uh, Shane, Helldivers 2 is a great, uh, great lover of it. Yeah, I love Helldivers 2. I love the just every aspect of it. The humor, it's fun for me to jump in and out. I, I, I don't play with people that often with it. I'm right now like kind of unlocking everything. But yeah, Helldivers is gr just great. But so many great games are releasing one after another. I, it's, it's crazy. Oh, and excuse me. Wow. It's like I, okay, I got the hiccups. Um, another one is... One of the games I'm excited for is on sale. I'm actually going to pick it up soon-ish. And that is... Don't laugh at my... Uh, Judas looks really good, by the way. And I mentioned that already earlier. Uh, I have so many weird... Oh, Sucker for Love. I know that looks so weird. <laughs> but the Sucker for Love is such a funny game. I love it. Uh, the original. Night Nightingale, I waited on as the early access seemed a little iffy in the beginning. So I will be picking that up probably in a couple of months when I feel like uh, I have a little wiggle room money-wise uh, in, in my budget. Banishers, uh, Ghost of New Eden looks really good. And yeah, people are playing the hell out of it. it it's Let's see this review right here. This guy... Uh, I really like these reviews. The graphics, beautiful. Gameplay, good. Audio, very good. Uh, audience, adult, obviously. Uh, PC requirements, decent. Uh, easy to learn, hard to master. Grind, isn't necessary to progress. Uh, story, lovely. Um, game time, long. And then the price, worth the price. Uh, minor bugs. Uh, I've heard like maybe a little bit more on that, but this is getting decent enough reviews. I think it's going to be one of those hidden gems for this year. Is this playing? Okay, making sure it's not playing. This is going to be one of those hidden uh, gems for the year, I think. I think people are going to realize this is a better game than um, they were originally thinking. It's kind of a silent release, even though it wasn't. I was always excited for it, but it is on sale for $39.99, which I think is a freaking steal for this. Game similar to it is The Witcher 3, The Last of Us Part 1, which um, I know it, it, it probably is like a slight mixture of both of those. That's a great, that's a great uh, references, I think, for this. Because that's, I haven't played it yet. I will be, I will be getting it during this sell, though. Because this is gonna, a game that I'm really excited for, and I would have picked it up sooner. But I've been playing the hell out of Helldivers, too. So, I got distracted. Um, Cascoder, I, I owned Helldivers, too, but I feel like I'm bad at it. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, you owned it, what'd you do? Like, you literally told Valve to delete it from your system. You're like, no, I can't do this. I'm so bad, just delete it. Um, cast Coder, we should all jump on. I We'll see if I can do it this weekend, but maybe this weekend or next weekend. Depending on where I'm at, I might go to Southern Utah for uh, my kid's spring break. Get away from this freaking horrible weather. I just want to go outside and walk the dog. I can't even walk the dog without it being... It's 40 degrees. It was 40 degrees outside today. Um, I'm, I'm done with this winter. <laughs> so, uh, I never thought I'd be quite like this, but I, I'm done with it. I, I need some sunshine, but yeah, cast, we should, we should all play it. I think it'd be really fun. <coughs> we'll set it up as a games revealed thing. Um, Rachie, 
J, uh, if you play on the Steam Deck dock, does your battery drain and does the deck get really hot? Um, the the deck won't get any hotter being docked. Um, it could even get a little bit less hot because it, it, it doesn't. It's not like the Nintendo Switch. The Nintendo Switch has a handheld mode and it has a docked mode. Docked mode, it runs a, um, a little bit more power through it, so it can get a little hotter, but it's supposed to be pretty safe. The Steam Deck does not do that. It doesn't have a docked mode where it runs faster, but you're not holding it. You, by holding it, might actually give it just a little bit of heat through your, your hands, through the handles, causing it to have a little bit more heat, so probably less heat having it um, docked, and especially without the fans or anything blocked. You should be good. It will charge the Steam Deck too, um, Jay. So you'd be good with like, it, it charges. In fact, it, it charges it. As long as you have a good enough power adapter, which if you're using the one that came with the Steam Deck, as long as you don't have any uh, major accessories hooked into the the uh, into your dock, as long as it's just like it's hooked up to an HDMI to your TV, powered in dock, and your Steam Deck's docked, this will power everything and charge your Steam Deck while you're playing. Satanic, welcome, welcome, welcome. Been a little bit. We're towards the end of it, and I'm about to sneeze. Achoo. 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 Excuse me. Uh, cast coder thinking out loud, but Steam needs to steal Discord's streaming mode detection and hide not safe uh, for work games from showing up in the store. Did it? Did it show? Did it show it in here? I don't think I. Okay, you probably saw The Sims, and we're thinking something else. I, I don't like. I don't have that enabled. <laughs> I've enabled it before because I was curious. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Um, thank you, Necrosphere. But yeah, I agree. Like, they need a streamer mode. I, I, I'm a very brave person. Let's just say, like, I, I, I'm amazing for doing this. I'm, I'm kidding, by the way, guys. Yeah, Jay, that um, confirms that it makes sense about the Steam Deck. Yep. No, now everyone's always welcome to ask questions about the Steam Deck on here. I probably have a question. At this point, it's getting a little old talking about the Steam. It's not really, like, I've enjoyed, I'm resurged back into the Steam Deck and all that. Like, it's, it's, it's fun. It's just, it's hard. It's hard to be, like, that's why I'm trying not to be an, a Steam Deck only channel. It's really hard to eke out. And then, yeah, I, I probably could be getting more views, but it's just hard to eke out. And it's not very fun to just cover just the Steam Deck as just, there's not a whole lot happening all the time with it. There's stuff you can, like I said, eke out, like get some news out there for, but it, it's, it, it gets a little rough and I just got kind of tired of it. That's why I switched over to actually doing what I wanted to do, which was my game. game. Um, Cascoder, I didn't see anything in the store, but I'd be, it'd be a smart move from Valve. Yes, 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 yes. You can have uh, not safe for work stuff disabled. Uh, my camera went out, so, and this is the last, I'm going to actually call it tonight. Um, I'm not going to bring it back up because I need to get going. Um, I'd reset the camera, but it's going to, I need to go and change the settings so it doesn't overheat. Um, yeah, it's just something because I disconnected it. Every time you disconnect it, you have to reset the settings. Okay, so I apologize. You're not going to be able to see me when I uh, exit, but um, yeah. I'll hopefully have some more videos, more stuff coming out very soon for the, I want to be more consistent. I'm going to try, I'm trying to work on that. My schedule being more consistent and everything. So bare minimum, I've been really trying to be consistent with the stream. I'm going to be coming out with a quiz on when to do the stream. I might do the stream a little earlier to catch um, better time though. But yes, no problem, Jay, for the help. Um, I will catch you guys next week. If I don't stream on my The Brink channel this week, uh, but if I do, I'll let people know in Discord. I also, it, it's awesome talking to you guys. I love it. And hopefully we have some good more talks about portable gaming on the go with the Steam Deck, flying, whatever it is. Thank you guys for stopping by and chatting with me. You guys are awesome. Peace out and later.